guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, what we're going to do today is I thought I'd like to make some garden balls um, just to sit around for my decor in my home. And I'm gonna show you two options. The possibilities are really endless that you can make. But, um, so let me show you what you'll need if you wanna make these two options, okay? You're gonna need some of these foam balls. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure I got this at Walmart. These are 3.8 inches, okay? And then some rocks from the Dollar Tree. I have this left over. And then I went to Walmart and I got these really pretty hydrangeas. I love them. And these were $3. So I got two bundles of this color. And then I didn't know if I wanted to mix um, the purplish in with it. So I got two bunches of these at Walmart and they were $3 as well, okay? Then you'll need a glue gun and something to cut your stem with. So let me go ahead and open everything up and then we'll get started. Okay, um, first thing I'm going to do, I have this little low temp glue gun heating up. Uh, because my big D wall is a high temp glue gun and you definitely want a low temp so you don't melt your styrofoam Okay, and all I'm really going to do is um, I'm just going to cut these petals off close like this and just glue these Onto these balls you could do this you could do those little um little green like moss discs that the Dollar Tree sells, that would be really pretty. Just anything like that to put on here, but I'm going to do, like I said, the ones with the rocks and then these. I think these will be really pretty. So I know you probably already have figured out what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to put some glue right on here and then just stick it right on there. This is so easy, you can do whatever you want, but it's gonna give us a really cute look, like just a really pretty garden ball that we can put in our house. I think it's gonna be really pretty. So I'll do a couple more, but I know you know what I'm doing. If you hear anything, we have contractors at our house today, and it has been an experience and a half, let me tell you. So that is what that is. But you can see, all you do is you just overlap it, and we're going to make this beautiful garden ball. So I'll be back when I get this one finished. I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. I think this is so pretty. You could keep it all one color. You could mix colors. This is so customizable. You can even get this and attach um, like that burlap and let three of them hang down and make your own. I think this is so pretty. Okay, so this is the first option that you can do to make a garden ball just out of flowers. And you could get your flowers from the Dollar Tree if you wanted, but at Walmart, they are very inexpensive, okay? So for your next option, but I think this is adorable, okay? For your next option, all you have to do is just start gluing rocks from the Dollar Tree right on here. And that's all I'm going to do to make this one. These are so easy, and like I said, they're so customizable. And garden balls can be very pricey, I think. So just make sure that you put a lot of glue on the rocks and glue them right down there. It's a little time consuming, but well worth it, okay? And you can see they're on there. Just make sure you use a low temp glue gun and put a lot of glue on there. But you can do so much with this. So I'll be back as soon as I get all my rocks glued on this one. I'll be okay, right back. Okay guys, I revamped what I was doing. I was going to put the rocks on and you saw me glue some of them on, but they didn't want to stay. It would just require way too much glue. 
So I'm just going to go ahead, I've just peeled them back off, and I'm just going to go ahead and make one incorporating this really pretty purple and this green, or maybe just purple, I don't know. So I'll be back and show you how that one turns out. Okay, this is what I'm getting so far. I've decided to do the purple. I may do all purple, and I'll show you once again what I'm doing. Just gonna put this right on the edge and just snug it down there and then just let it open up. And that's what we get. This is so pretty, all right? So I'll be back so this video isn't really long. I'll be back once I'm finished. Okay guys, I'm finished and this is how they turned out. These are gorgeous garden balls. I love these. And it took a little over one each. Um, I used one of the green ones and then this much more of another one, okay? And on the purple, it took one with this much left over of the first one and then this much left over on the second one. So it just depends on how full you want them, but I wanted mine really full, but you could see if you made these the same color, you could hang them down, like I said, or just set them. I'll show you how I'm going to display them. Um, but they're so pretty. I love the colors. This is the purple. And then that is that really pretty green. These are so inexpensive to make and totally customizable. So I'll hop off and show you how it looks in there on my candle holders that I made. Now naturally, I would have them the same color, but I only made a green one and a purple one. So, um, but just kind of imagine if they matched in color, how pretty they would be. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys. Hey guys, here they are on the candle holders that I made. You can see you would never know that you made those garden balls. They're really pretty and especially with that floral arrangement that I made from the Dollar Tree, it really picks up that purple. Um, but I really do like these. They're so inexpensive to make and you can get exactly the color to match your decor. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.